Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is Miko McCute. We of the weekly contest 325, maximum tastiness of candy basket. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this palm. So this one actually I did pretty quickly, which I'm happy about because I did kind of pour the on all the other ones. But I think the hardest part about this particular palm is about reading it correctly. Basically, what you want to do is maximize something, but you want to minimize um, the speed gaps between the, the the candies that you choose so intuitively um or um, you know after kind of really understanding the problem and to be honest uh, you could watch myself just during the re uh, contest video and i really did struggle with understanding this problem a little bit but once i understand it i think the intuitive uh, the intuition is just that you want you want basically like as much space in between things as possible, uh, as possible, and you're trying to maximize the minimum of the space between them. So you're trying to like get room for this thing. Um, that's how I visualize it in my head. And with that visualization, that reminded me of another problem. Um, you could call it bookshelving and stuff like this. Um, you know, you have them with books and you try and put in uh, whatever, right? So that's basically the, the kind of mental visualization that I have. And with that, um, the next thing is just binary search. Um, on the answer and the binary search is here I'm not gonna go over it that much I really need to get out this video on binary search but I write it about the same way you could watch me solve it live um, and I say the same things which is that the the balance are inclusive so I take the mid and then if the if the mid is good what do I do right well that means that we want to try to see if we could have a bigger number and have it still be good so that's why we move left to the mid uh, otherwise, we know that mid is no good, and then we just move to a smaller half, right? Um, that's the way that I always think about it. And the good function is um, the thing that gives us the answer. And the thing is that we have a target, which is the, the maximum tastiness. And another way to phrase this, and sometimes that's what binary search requires you to do, is phrase this in the reverse way, which is that, okay, um, and part of this binary search problem, and I kind of skipped this a little bit, is based off greedy. And the greedy portion it comes from sorting the price. Because once you sort the price, um, you always want to take, you know, I mean, as we said, we want the most space as possible, right? So we always want to take the smallest candy, right? And then now, if we if we have the smallest candy because we know that it's going to be as far from the other stuff in a greedy way, then what is the next biggest candy uh, or what is the next smallest candy that we can get that we can still have the target gap? So that's basically the idea that I have with this greedy. After you sort it, you can just go through the prices. And and yeah, if 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 the current X and the last candy that you chose is bigger, so the gap if the gap is big enough, then let's take this candy. And we set the last as you go to X. And then at the end, we just want to see how many candy we can have with this target as the gap, right? Um, and if if we have if we have enough for the candy, then or if we have enough candies that are greater than K, then let's try a bigger gap to see if we can get a better tastiness, I suppose. Right? That's pretty much it. Um, this is going to be linear time because we go through the each loop in price. So this is O of n for this part. Um, this is going to be O of I always say log R for where R is range and it ranges 10 to the I did 10 to the 12, but I don't think you can do a bigger gap than 10 to the 9. But I made a mistake on that assumption earlier without thinking about it. So I just kind of chose a bigger number. And because each one is going to be O of N, this is O of log uh, N log R. And of course, you still have to sort the price. So this is N log N. So yeah, so the total time is going to be O of N log R plus N log N for time. And space is just going to be O of N. I always say O of N for space when I sort because in theory you should make a copy and not sort the original input in case the person putting in the input does not appreciate it being sorted. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. I think this is a way, like I don't have a unique way of explaining it today for this particular one just because I think searching, binary search on the result is kind of a tricky thing, uh, but there are a lot of problems on the code for you to practice. So definitely you know, um, if you want some examples, just come to Discord and ask, and I'm sure people will give you something about binary searching on the answer. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, um, and you could watch me solve a live during contest now. First one, and then I just kind of messed it up here. 
Uh, wow, man, I'm getting destroyed, ain't I? People are already finished, and I am in 1,000. Wow, this is just a... Okay, focus, Larry, and see where you can go. Okay, only 47 people solved this, and only four subs. Okay, come on, you could catch up, Larry. Choose the candidates for the prices. What are we doing? Okay. Price of the I've candy and K distinct candies. The tastiness is the smallest after the prices of any two candy in the maximum. We smallest absolute maximum tastiness. So we choose to do, 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 do. It's the min of these three. Okay. Um, K is two. It doesn't really matter which one. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter. So first we want to sort. I think that makes sense. And then now the min is, is it the max of the min? How does this even work? Uh, eight is the, wait, what am I doing? Man, this one is so many confusion. So maximum, so we want the maximum min. So the min is the closest. So basically, do you want the one that are farther away? Why wouldn't you want like one thirteen twenty one? I mean, I guess that min is still 8, but this is binary searchable, I guess that's why I'm, I'm trying to think, or 1, 8, no, I guess, I guess, I think they give you the weird candy, but I think 1, 13, 21 is probably actually better, um, and K could be anything, so then, you always want them to be as evenly spaced as possible because the minimum delta is the one, right? So then that's what you binary search on, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know if I could need to do the price, but um, okay. So yeah, f is equal to zero, right is equal to, uh, <laughs> let's try 15 this time. Uh, I think, eh, all right, 12. I don't yeah, I think that should be good enough for the minimum, right? Because I remember the problem, but um, then why did I vote? Why did I like this? So then, mid, so if mid is good, then we want to try something bigger. And then if we have a target, and it's sorted, then we just go, how many candy can we have? Then it's just greedy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for x in price, if x minus last is greater than target, run x, or uh, last is equal to x, Return candy is greater than equal to k. Should be right. I don't know why it's so slow. Did I miss a loop somewhere? Oh, whoops. Huh, it's a good thing that this caught it though. 820, okay, let's give it some minute. So many wrong answers today, so I'm glad that that one. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest or this problem. Um, I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.